Hey, what's up guys? We will be using soap, uh, 345 Soap Co. and a straight razor today. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first and foremost, the soaps, uh, I have two. So this is my first introduction to 345 Soap Co. Um, on my Instagram page, I had a little voting thing. I showed you guys some, and, and uh, this I think was, I, th I think a couple were tied, but I went ahead and purchased these. Um, uh, in October, which is right around the corner, I will purchase another two um, from another manu uh, another artisan that I have not used before. So we'll go from there. Um, but I do have shark, uh, Shipwreck and Shark Bite. Um, out of the two, this is just a first impressions video. I will go over each in depth in their own videos, go over pricing, that type of thing. Um, this is just a overview, basically. Um, shark Bite is... Out of Shark Bite and Shipwreck, I prefer Shark Bite. Um, it's not that Shipwreck's bad at all. Shipwreck's actually a very, very nice cologne type scent to me. Um, the labels, look at the labels, man. The labels are so nice, seriously. They are very, very nice. I think they're waterproof. Um, they have the information on the side, 5.8 ounces, handmade in uh, LaSalle, Colorado, or LaSalle, I don't know how to pronounce that. Then, you know, the name of the soap, Shipwreck, it's on the front as well. Um, and then it gives you the ingredients. I prefer the Shark Bite label um, because it gives you all that information, 5.8 ounces, where it's made, the name of the soap, even though it's on the front too. The labels are so cool, again. Um, you know, 345 Soap Co. But this label gives you the scent. So pineapple, pear, coconut, and wood right there. The Shipwreck does not. I mean, maybe there was too many to list. I don't know. Um, but anyway, very cool labels regardless. I wish that all of their all of their labels, like Shark Bite, gave you the scent profile. You know, maybe they could have put it in up here between the, um, I don't know, clouds or whatever. But whatever, very cool labels nonetheless. So, like I said, we'll get into the specifics in their own videos. But today we're going to use Shark Bite because for me, like I said, for my nose, this smells... Uh, this is more of my wheelhouse. Very, very nice. Um, very. This is a tallow-based soap. I'll just real quick, notable. Um, beef tallow, milk of milks of donkey, so donkey milk, uh, <laughs> camel and goat, so donkey, camel and goat milks. Okay. Um, so <laughs> very milky. Uh, we have let's see, grapeseed oil, cocoa butter, yogurt, lanolin. So this is lanolin as well. Apricot oil. Almond oil, jojoba oil, maru maru butter, coconut butter, hydrolyzed soap protein, fragrance. I skipped over a couple that we all know is in there, you know, kind of like stearic acid, that type of thing. So, all right, let's go ahead and get loaded. Um, we are going to use my Jerry Stark 8 eighths Battle Axe True Carbon Fiber Scales. We have a little uh, red wood insert there. I think that's cherry. Um, but yeah, yeah, my, my Jerry Stark. Very, very nice straight razor. This has the Shobu edge on it. Shobu Dani. And the brush for today is going to be the Maggard 28 millimeter super high density badger, not from Maggard Razors. Uh, our Maggard, uh, Maggards. Uh, and this is my mug sent from Alex Mount Fuji for the uh, aftershave splash or balm in this case. It's, um, West Coast Shavings, the soloist. This was sent from Thomas D. He actually sent me the balm, the splash, and the soap. So thank you, Thomas. All right, let's go ahead and get loaded. I didn't buy matchings for this, for these two soaps. I just bought, I just bought the soaps themselves just to test them out. And in all honesty, both. I would not have been disappointed if I would have um, purchased the. I'm gonna refill my Mount Fuji mug with some warm water. I wouldn't have been disappointed if I purchased either Splash because they smell so good. They, they, bro they both really do smell good. It's just Shark Bite for me is is more of my wheelhouse. That's all it is. It's not that the other one's bad at all. The other one smells very good. My wife likes Shipwreck more than Shark Bite. So, just preference. That's all it is. Hope everyone's been doing very well. I've already ranted for five minutes, so typical me. I said I'm not going to get too much in the details, and I really didn't, but, you know, I kind of went over a little bit of the ingredients and scent profile on this one, but it's hard not to go over the scent profile on Shark Bite because they're, they're listed on the front, you know. 
which is very cool. Very, very cool. I love when, like, I don't have to open up a website and go look for something. You know, just have it on the label. Cool. Perfect. All right, I think that's going to be the load. This is a very, very... It's kind of like typical soaps nowadays. It's, um... It's not a cream by any means. It is a soap. Uh, we have, uh, I think, 48 hours of growth. It's definitely... It, it's a softer, it's not a crope, it's, but it's on the teetering edge of a crope, I would say. You could definitely indent it, but it's not, it's not super, super, uh, cropey. <laughs> Alright. Just getting the excess here. I can already tell this is going to be a very good lather. Just by looking at the ingredients, but also just by loading the soap here. And this is my first time loading it. Um, normally, I'll try to do like a load or two before I shave. I'm trying to figure out. I, I, there's so much stuff down here on this counter now. Since my wife and son have been back that it's uh, I'm like trying to find places to put things. I've got to clean that up tomorrow because it's, it's really bugging me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, but you can tell that load is just thick and damn. Look at that. My goodness. When the bristles are just kind of sticking, it's so gluey. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a great soap, and I probably overloaded it. That's okay. That's all right. It's my first time using it, so. We'll try the method of painting it on first, and then we'll kind of add water as needed. This may be a little bit longer of a video. I'm sorry for that. The upside to the video, for most of you I'm assuming, is that I'm using a straight razor and there's a very high probability that I will cut myself and bleed. I mean, you know, more of a probability than if I weren't using a straight razor, so. All right, we're gonna dip the tips in some water and we're gonna get to scrubbing. Yeah, I think Tim, I'm not sure if LP voted for this. I think Alex may have voted for 345, maybe not, I don't remember. Like I said, it was on my it was on my um, Instagram page. My Instagram link is down below as well. Oh yeah, very nice. I'm gonna build this lather up nicely, I can already tell. Now, I've heard of 345 Soap Co., I've heard of Southern Witchcrafts, I've heard of a lot of the artisans that were that were listed, um, but I've just not tried them. There are several, several artisans that you guys had mentioned. How the heck did I get soap there? What in the world? We don't want to waste that, so let's go ahead and just, like, hmm, where am I going to put it? I'll put it on the brush. Uh, there were some artisans that I had never heard of, um, and I looked some of them up. I think one was a, um, like a Span, uh, it's made in Spain, and I think the only place that sold it that I could find at least was Pastor's. It was some, some soap, and then coincidentally today, not the same soap, but CDB had posted a soap that Pastor sold. Or not posted a soap, but did a shave with a soap that Pastor sold that was also from Spain. I think it was from Spain. Um, um, and yeah, so that was... That was pretty cool. Like I said, it wasn't the same uh, same artisan from there, but, you know, it was still Spain. So, it's pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. Alright, adding a little bit more water. We really can probably go with what we have. And keep in mind that this brush, the super high density badger knot, is a lather hog. With that being said, this is also the softest brush I have ever felt. Softer than any, any synthetic I have as well. And I know I say that like I have a whole bunch of synthetics. I have like three. That's it. But still, softer than any, and, and one of those is the uh, Plus Soft. 
So, you know, I, I can assure you there's probably not a uh, synthetic that's softer than this. And there was no break-in period as well, uh, either. I think they they gel the tips, but I think they just bleach them, right? And that kind of gives them the, uh, okay, we're, we're great on the lather here. Wow. Okay. And the brush is completely full. Cool. I, I, I kind of knew I loaded too much. But we could tell that it is well hydrated because it's not really sticking to my lips. Sometimes I could tell like when I'm using my, my thumbnail to kind of get the soap off. If it's a little dry, you know, you'll have like the white pasty stuff still kind of behind. But this looks very, very good. Scent is sent from the actual puck. And again, I'm giving a little bit more information than for a first impression, but it's probably a six, just slightly over medium. On the face, I'd say it gets downgraded. One, it's probably about a five, so about mid-stream mid on the face. All right, so let's go ahead and get the first pass done. I chopped off a bump right there, I just felt it. Mm Make sure you're keeping that spine super close to your face. And you shouldn't have any serious cuts. Yeah, you could definitely chop off any skin imperfections. You can see the hair all in there. This thing is shaving very nicely. Um, I don't think I have that many shades on this specific edge, maybe three or four. So, you know, it's definitely doing very well. So, Let's keep on going, left side of my face, using the left hand. I've been told by some guys that they can't use their left hand to do the left side of their face. They don't have the dexterity. And... While I don't want to well, I don't want to discount what somebody tells me because it may be like a muscular thing or you know some kind of some kind of issue where they honestly don't have that dexterity. I used to say the same thing just because like I wasn't comfortable doing it, so can't do it not being able to do it and like just not being comfortable two different things. So I always ask the guys like, okay, so are you not comfortable with shaving with your left hand? Or like, you know, is there an underlying issue, which you don't have to tell me, is there an underlying issue that you don't, you know, want to use your left hand? And sometimes, only one time actually, it was, you know, the whole, um, well, I, it was an issue. And then the other times it's just like the guys are just uncomfortable. And that's, that's the same boat I was in. You know, I was definitely uncomfortable as well using my left hand. All right, let's go ahead and re-lather. Do a warm little rinse here real quick. I need to get this mop cut off my head. In high school, we called it mops, right? Like, the, um, the guys that would always have like the, what do we call it? We call it the guys that like did their hair spiky, 
in the front, you know, because you had a lot of guys that like did their hair spiky like that, right? We'd call them porcupines. I mean, like, the high school I went to was pretty small, right? So. It was all jokes and like, you, you everyone fell in one category. So like, we'd always rag on each other. It wasn't like, you know, we weren't isolating anybody. But um, the guys that had the spiky hair was were porcupines. Guys that had the hair like I have now, kind of like just let it go, let it grow to its own. Thing. Those were called mop head. <laughs> and then um, this is an old term, but we use it uh, squares for just the guys that were kind of like you know, got their hair cut, you know, maybe monthly or so, maybe less than every every other month. But like they didn't spike their hair up; they were just normal hair. We call them squares. Again, nothing derogatory. Just. Just fun things. <clears throat> at least at that point in time. If you say something like that today, I'm sure it's offensive. Okay. All right. So. Second pass. Everyone's trying to be offended nowadays. Okay. Couple bumps here and there, you know, it just comes with letting my beard grow. It is what it is. Gotta power through, get it over with. It's the one thing that always kind of um, surprised me when I grew a goatee, you know, because I'm in my, my area here, when hair grows, you know, for a while, I typically don't get too much irritation, but I didn't know that until, you know, I started growing my goatee um, several years ago. So it's, uh, goatee is an area that fortunately does not have too many irritation issues. But the rest of my face, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Cool. One more pass against the grain. Hmm. Honestly, I could stop right here. But I have a ton of soap in this brush. It's just globbed in there. So let's go ahead and do it. The scent on this. Let's say the strength is still is still a five. Sometimes as you're as I'm well, I, I can't say sometimes as you sometimes as I'm using a soap, like my nose become I think it's called nose blindness. Like as you're smelling it more and more throughout the shave or throughout anything, really, like your nose just kind of like you stop smelling so much of it. 
sometimes you stop smelling it at all. I'm not getting that, luckily. I would say it's down to maybe a four, but it's not gone. I'm, I just pulled out everything from the brush. That's what we have left. Let's go ahead and throw it on. This will be our final pass on the cheeks and touch-ups on the neck. Very, very nice lather. First impression, very nice lather. The ingredients list is superb. Um, the post shave on this is probably going to be excellent. So what I'll probably do is hold off on putting on the balm. And I will, um, let me rinse this hand off. And I'll just kind of let this sit on my face for about an hour, maybe two. Just to see how my, my skin reacts to the, you know, the soap as my, my post shave. And if I need a balm, I'll throw on that balm after. With all the milks, the lanolin, and all the butters that this that this soap has, I'll go out on a limb, and it's a pretty sturdy limb, and say that I won't need a balm. But that's going to depend on skin as well. So just because I may not need a balm um, after that I use this soap doesn't mean you know somebody else won't. So all right, so let's go ahead and get crossways on my neck here. Gonna go against the grain on my cheek. You see I'm pulling, pulling the skin here. All right. You're going to go across the grain on the neck on this side. Apparently I didn't miss anything. It's good. All right, and then against the grain on the other side of the cheek. Nice. I really need to switch hands for doing this. Using my left hand to like do the right side of my face going with the grain is just way too weird for me. And again, we hear very little to nothing, so that means we definitely caught everything. Let's feel around. Perfect. Very, very good shave. Yeah, first impressions of this soap is absolutely superb. Um, I'll have to use it a couple more times to kind of put it in like a ranking system for my soaps that I currently have here. Um, but I would say just top of my head, probably top five of artisans. Um, more than likely it'll be lower, 
But again, I want to get several more shaves with this base before I make any decisions. Post shave. I'll be able to tell you something here in a second. Just by like wiping. So I did a cold water rinse. That's what I always do after I shave. Pat my face dry. Not scrub it. Just pat it. All right, make sure my hands are dry. And then how do we have, how do we feel here? We feel moisturized. We feel like a, it's not like a lotion, you know, that like oily, slicky type of, it's not that, it's more so like a, it feels like my face is still moist, even though my hand, moist, <laughs> some people hate that word. Um, even though my, my hands are completely dry, and my my face is completely dry. I still it still feels moist, which to me it still feels damp, wet. Is that a better better word? Anyway, um, yeah, feels great. It really does. Now time will tell. Like I said, about an hour, two hours. I'll, I'll probably just go an hour and then see how it feels. But first impressions, the soap is awesome. You know, this base. So, not the specific scent. They're both the same bases. Um, shark Bite's awesome. Absolutely. Sh shipwreck smells very good as well. But yeah, 345 Soap Co. Seems very good. So, I appreciate the recommendation, guys. Um, mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I want to do for the next video. The next video may be with a completely different soap. And then we may go with Shipwreck. Um, not a first impressions video with Shipwreck, but we'll go over everything with shipwreck and then maybe i'll do another soap and then maybe at maybe like the fourth or fifth video from now i'll do like a, a deep dive on shark bite just to kind of give you you know that type of thing anyway whatever so <coughs> that's it that's the shave hope you guys enjoyed um we'll just kind of go over real real brief shark bite by three four five soap co for the soap we went with the maggard 28 millimeter super high density badger not um, yeah, we definitely still have a ton of soap in here, although I pulled a lot out. We could probably get another pass, maybe a pass and a half out of that brush. Stuff just holds on the lather. And then for the actual shaving utensil, let me go ahead and wipe it off really quick because it's still got water on it. Don't do that. Do not do that to your straight razors. Always when you're done shaving, wipe them off immediately. I didn't. Okay. So yeah, this is the shaving utensil, Jerry Stark. Eight eighths and uh, yeah so that's the shave hope you guys enjoyed let me know uh, what you think about the soaps if you've tried it before three four five soap co in the comments down below if you have shipwreck and shark bite which one do you like more um, like I said you can find my links down below I doubt anyone's still with me at 28 minutes well I'm sure a couple of you are and thank you for staying I appreciate it I wish I was able to give you something like through the camera um, with you sticking with me for almost 30 freaking minutes for a shaving video anyway. All right, guys. I won't take up any more of your time. Peace.